Ben's Whitewater Park is officially back open seven weeks after tragedy struck. Kelsey McGee was there this morning and joins us with more. Kelsey. Carly, the surf wave reopened early this morning and people were lining up waiting for their turn. There's now a helmet and life vest learner station off to the side. People who do come in from out of town and are people who are just starting out. So, like, a, we've always been pretty friendly uh, to newcomers and trying to help them figure out, you know, how to get on the board, where to go, where not to go, how the eddies work on the river. But a big part of this is just trying to educate people to be safe and uh, make good decisions and realize that, you know, while this is an amazing surf wave, it's a class three rapid and it's important to make sure you're keeping your wits about you. Uh, no leash policy. Uh, I think it's a good idea, although it makes, definitely makes things more difficult. Um, trying to keep track of your board and uh, get out of the current, it's a little bit, a little bit more difficult, but um, I think overall it's a good idea. Along with structural changes to eliminate gaps that could trap a surfer's foot, more signs are out to remind people that river surfing is not ocean surfing. The river's current never stops. Other signs explain why it's important to lose the leash, which may have played a role in 17-year-old Ben Murphy's death.